Hey everybody, this is Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Five Nights of Power Book Girls, where we will start going for the good ending in part one of this Let's Play. So without further ado, we will start a new game and start going for the new ending, and let's see what has to offer for us. And we'll see if we can get it, because I know there's a way to go for the good ending. The question is, though, can I get it? Because it's possible, so I should be able to get it. I'm muting the call because I already heard it. Alright, so. I'll just do a playthrough of night one. Or a replay through since we're going through the ending. Sorry, I gotta adjust my camera. Bear with me. But yeah, so this will be a tutorial for how to go... F so this whole video series I'm doing is going to be a tutorial for how to go for the good ending. For those who want to know how to go for the good ending and find out the power of us. And for those who haven't played this game, this will also be a tutorial for how to play through... How to, like, play through the game in either the, the pizzeria or the, the home, how to deal with the characters, etc., so this will be, this whole video series I'll be doing the next couple days will be a tutorial for how to play the game and how to go for the good ending. And I also gave that tutorial in when, when I went for the bad ending. So yeah. So now we gotta go for the good ending. We got the bad ending. Now it's the good ending. Sorry, my camera does not want to get the full shot here. I don't know what's going on. But it just doesn't want to cooperate with me today. So I'll do my best here to try to get the full shot for night one. I don't know if I can, but bear with me, so... Just thought I'd give a heads up. Surprisingly, nobody's came through the vent throughout this whole gameplay of being in the pizzeria. Or I think it. Meant, I think it's just. I think Bonnie goes through the vent. I could be wrong, but I believe it's Bonnie. I don't know because I have never seen anybody go through the vent in this game. Of course, since night one's easy, we're not really going to be seeing much of Bubbles and Buttercup. Because Bubbles and Buttercup are the only ones active on night one. And then, for the pizzeria. And then, Bonnie's act becomes active on night two. Blossom becomes active on, becomes active on night three. So yeah, that's how it works for the pizzeria. And then for the home... They're all active no matter what. Like, regardless of whatever night you do, Boss and Bubbles and Buttercup are all active. And apparently the ones in the pizzeria are the 20, the 2016 versions. Whereas the ones in the, the home are, like, the... Probably the newer versions, I assume, maybe? Because the 2016 versions look older. So, I don't know. I mean, there's two different versions of Boss and Bubbles and Buttercup. Like, there's the regular ones and the 2016 ones. Which, the regular ones you deal with in the home. The, correct me if I'm wrong, but the regular Powerpuff Girls you deal with in the home. And then the 2016 ones, as well as Bunny, you deal with in the pizzeria. I apologize if I'm wrong, though, but I believe that's how it works. 
I don't know. I've, I've kind of forgotten which model is who because Blossom Bubbles and Buttercup in both the pizzeria and the home, they look identical. Like, they look identical. There's, like, almost no differences. I mean, the only, the only really the only difference with, um, I don't know. There's, they look, they look almost identical. I can't really tell the differences between the regular Powerpuff Girls and the 2016 ones. In the scan. I mean, I can tell, in the TV series, in, in, in the TV series, both the original and the reboot, I can tell them apart, because apparently, um, in the original Fight at the Powerpuff Girls series, um, the graphics were, the animation and the graphics were, were, were like, darker. But in the reboot, they were, like, the animation and the graphics are brighter. And as you can see, we beat Night 1, and we got the confetti and the kids cheering. All right, time to play through the mini game again with Bubbles. I already showed the mini game with Blossom in the last when I was doing the um, first did this game. So mini game same as always. Mojo jo <laughs> Mojo Jojo comes to apparently kill Bubbles and Buttercup or capture them. I think he either captures captures then kills them. I can't, I can't remember the whole story. But anyways, since I got enough time, we will take on night two in this video as well. So without further ado, we'll take on night two for the good ending. And we'll see what that's on for us. Alright, night two, we're going home. Might as well switch it up a bit. Alright, so since we're only on night two, the they're not gonna be they're not gonna be moving as fast, so that's a good thing. Compared to the 420 mode in Knights 4 and 5 where they move just mighty fast. Still gotta conserve the battery and the flashlight though, because you don't want to use it like too quickly. And you're especially gonna want to conserve it on the later nights and the 420 mode because they move faster. Okay. Did I just see Blossom? Because I know I saw Bubbles and Buttercup. I thought I saw Blossom for a second. And speaking of Bubbles and Buttercup, I didn't have to deal with them at all in Night 1 because they're so slow. In the pizzeria, in Nights 1 and 2, they're so slow. Night 3, though, they, they pick it up and move a little faster. Nights 4 and 5 and 6, they move, like, a lot faster. And that's the same with Blossom. Okay. There's Buttercup. I know Blossom and Buttercup are ready. Now I gotta go check out Bubbles. Because if Bubbles gives a warning light and you don't react in time, then she'll kill you. I know that because I had that issue with Bubbles when I was doing the 420 mode. And it took me four parts to beat it. Because it was so hard. In fact, the 420 mode in this game was just as hard as it was for me doing um, Night 4, Nights 3 and 4 and Final Fantasy Smudgers Remastered. In fact, I actually just beat Night 4 and Final Fantasy Smudgers Remastered last night after many tries. And that's another Let's Play I'm doing. If you haven't checked it out, be sure to, be, be sure to check it out. Because that Let's Play is apparently much harder than Final Fantasy Power of Thrones. Find out the Powerpuff Girls didn't become hard until I got to Night 6. And then the 420 mode. And then all hell broke loose. Nights 4 and 5 were fairly easy. But if I had Smudgers Remastered, there's no mercy. Oh, get rid of Blossom. And Buttercup. Check for Bubbles. Yep. Bossom and Buttercup are gone. Bubbles never leave. She just keeps moving. And you just have to keep her at bay. 